We had a terrific time at the Ohio Wet Shavers meetup, and uh, we got some sample soaps that we're going to try today. Uh, the Woody Hayes's Victories, or Woody's Victories, and a fragrance from Seaforth, uh, Buckeye. We're going to try these out today on the Safety Cat Studios YouTube channel. The Ohio Wet Shavers meetup was last weekend and we had a terrific time. Unfortunately, I couldn't take Safety Cat with me, but she was there in spirit. I got two wonderful items from there. We got from Shannon Sopery. She brings something every year. And this is the Ohio Wet Shavers meetup, Woody's Victories. You know, he had 238 wins in his career as a coach at Ohio State University. And, uh, Kind of carrying on the OSU uh, thing, we had something from Seaforth as a special release, uh, Seaforth Buckeye. Uh, had some little sniffs at it, but I haven't really used it yet, so this is the first try. Uh, our razor today from our random grab is a Thier's Izzard. Uh, this is an older one. Uh, it's from the Thiers region, and this 134 is a one, 134. Yeah, is apparently an address in uh, in in this area. I'm not sure though. That's what my recollection is. It's been stropped. It's ready to run. We've got the soap already lathered. So let's have it. I uh, lathered the soap. I don't often use uh, anything like a uh, soap uh, scraper or anything like that, but I did this time because I kind of want to save on the soap a little bit. And uh, so I made the soap a little bit more yogurty this time, just to figure out what it's like. I wish I could tell you, I'm not very good at identifying fragrance yet. My nose isn't that educated. The only thing it does good is run, especially with all the pretty yellow wildflowers out in every field that we seem to pass lately. And uh, so I am the king of the running nose right now. Uh, this is a six eighths Full hollow, really, is it full hollow? No, well, half hollow. This one takes an edge real good. Nice razor. And, uh, the metal's leaving me. She must have exorcised all the all the demons. I'm making a mess here because this soap is a little bit this ladder is a little runny instead of collecting on the blades, getting on there and just kind of running off. But Shannon's soaps are uh, terrific. They do a pretty good job. Very slick. I don't recall if this is a vegan soap or if it's a uh, oils, butters of tallow. This is a tallow soap. Good. I like tallow soaps. Getting the shave in kind of nice and early this morning. Early for me, it's only nine o'clock Eastern time. But I'm old and I don't roll out of bed as early as I used to. But that's okay because I don't have anywhere to go.
met some great people at the uh, meetup. Uh, this is the fourth one or fifth one I've been to. Uh, it's a Facebook group. And uh, what's neat is some of my friends from the Shaving Cadre showed up. And uh, I'd not... I not met Sean. He's from New York, and uh, was pleased to meet him at this this one. And my friend Dave was there, and Sean's spouse was there. Um, I'm not real 100% great with names, but boy, if you're on the shaving cadre, and uh, you can see it was it was neat to because those guys are from all over the world and it's kind of fun to find people who can show up to a local meetup. So my friends out there on the internet, do you have belong to shaving groups? Meet up on the periodically or every now and then have a cup of coffee or we traded a lot of, there was a big trading table there and there was kind of a goodie bag and that's what this soap and this um, aftershave came from. A goodie bag that was arranged for and that was a, they did a terrific job. All the guys who put these things together, it's a labor of love for them and they really enjoy meeting internet friends and um, I'm glad that they do that kind of stuff because I'm not real good to organize that kind of things and so it's terrific when you have somebody who does some the weather was perfect I'll slip a few pictures in here. You can, I wish I'd taken more pictures. I had the GoPro out because I hadn't had, used it much. I've forgotten how to use it. I had trouble switching back and forth from video mode to picture taking photos. In a way, I kind of wish I hadn't taken it because I could have gotten a lot more pictures if I just used my phone. But I didn't. No excuses there, just a fact. Let's see how we did here. Oh, terrific. Just two passes. I got a darn find, if not close to. Your cheeks are baby but smooth. Neck, yeah, I always have a little bit of extra ragged here, but surprisingly not as bad this time. Get the alum out. No irritation at all. myself a little bit there. Well, yes, not. Huh. A little bit of uh, when uh, brain uh, brain is gone this morning. Well, there's lemon. And then we'll see what this aftershave is like. I put a little little splurge on my hand and try to smell it. It's just, you can get a sense for what the fragrance is like, but until you, you know, slather it on, you really don't get the whole effect. So we'll see. Um, these guys are, are, make wonderful fragrances. So we're gonna give ourselves a generous splurging. 
the restrictor is restricting. So it takes a lot of shaking to get some out, but you know, even even when I put a bunch on, it's a very subtle fragrance. But nice. I think that'll do. What a great shave today. Thank you for coming. I'm Major Rich. You find me at theshavingcounter.com. If you made it this far, please leave a like. It doesn't cost you nothing. And uh, if you uh, are seeing me on my uh, YouTube channel, Safety Cat Studios, you can subscribe to that if you're so inclined. Uh, we will continue to do this kind of stuff. I try to do it about three times a week. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.